Hello everyone. Right now I'm going to teach you how to make a very useful tool. Um, it's called a tester and it's used to test button batteries if they have to check if they have power or not. Before we start, I suggest that you watch this video till the end so you don't miss any important things regarding um, how to check or like during the testing process. Um, so first, Make sure that you have a device, some sort of device that has a light bulb. And I'm going to use this to demonstrate. Um, but it can be anything. You can It can be your old TV remote or um, anything that has a bulb that used to work. But now you know for sure that it doesn't work. Okay, but you got to be sure about that. Then I want you to remove the power source. I don't know about yours, but this has this type of batteries. And um, you're going to want to remove that. Just to be safe, hopefully it doesn't have any power in it, but if it does have batteries, you're going to want to remove that or any type of power source. And I'm just going to put that away for now, but okay. Then you're going to want to take out the light bulb. You don't necessarily need this same device. It can be anything with the light bulb and two metal bars behind it or wires, that should be fine. I'm just gonna take this apart real quick. But if you have the light bulbs themselves um, alone, then great, you don't need to take apart anything. Okay. And then you're gonna wanna safely remove the light bulb out without damaging the metal wires underneath it okay i say that you're going to want to keep it like this if yours is like super long keep it that way because one of it will be longer than the other one and they're actually symbols and they have different charges the next thing you're going to want to do is take a good battery and test your tester to make sure it works. Okay, the way you're gonna wanna use it is that one of the side is gonna be long, the other one is gonna be shorter. They're actually, okay. So this is how, I'm just gonna slightly open the sticker out. Here's the battery. You're gonna hold it in a way that one of the side, it's the side of the battery, like the, oh my God, my camera keeps focusing somewhere else. Anyway, okay. One of it on the side and the other one on the top. Remember that now, because it's gonna be useful. And I guess the long one needs to be on the side and the shorter one needs to be on the top. And my light works very well. It's not gonna work the other way. Uh, you gotta be sure about that. See, it doesn't work if I do it like this. It only works one way, okay. The problem with mine is that this is like a disco light, so um, I'm not going to know if the battery has very low power in it, because usually the tester would blink. A normal white light tester would blink, but this one is a disco light. Anyways, this is a fresh battery and the tester works. I'm just going to put this back in the way it was. Now I have these batteries. Now I'm just going to start testing them one by one. See if they work. Remember, okay, just be sure that the longer one needs to meet on the side. Not the back, the side. And the shorter one on the top. When I say back, it's the one with the letters or like the flat one. Okay, this battery does not work. I'm going to throw it away. This one also does not work. Here's a little problem with small batteries. You might want to like bend the metals, but this one also does not work. Um, oh, this one has slight power. If you can see this, because it's a little dimmer. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's way dimmer. 
This one's actually pretty fresh. Okay, so I'm gonna keep these two because they're good and throw these away. Anyways, so remember that there are two ones and you do not wanna cut those off. And one of it needs to be on the side and the other one needs to be on the top. All right, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share if you like this video.